We're here with Brooke Rupel. Brooke was a former Nioga student. Uh, she graduated this past May, and she is actually attending Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee to put in herself into a music career. So I'm gonna talk to her a little bit. Coming from Nioga, it's definitely a big change because I'm in Nashville and I'm Belmont with a lot more people than um, you know there was here. So it's definitely been an adjustment, but um, I love it all the same. And Belmont's a really good community. I've met a lot of really close friends already and the music program is amazing. The music you have coming out as far as your Minden CD and a little bit about that. Um, so I released an album, a physical CD called Minded, um, earlier this year, and now I'm coming out with it on Spotify and Apple Music, so you can basically listen to it anywhere. So my roommate's name is Emma Teixeira, and she's super talented and just a great person, and I'm really glad we're roommates because we're like best friends now, um, and it wouldn't be the same experience without her. Um, we go to a lot of like small groups and stuff on campus, and we... Um, we like to go to coffee shops and study a lot. She's a big coffee shop girl and and we like to go shopping and hang out with friends. Um, so I've still been, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep writing when I was in school because it was just kind of a hobby here, but um, I've been writing a lot of songs and I've been trying to record some myself. So I'm in the process of trying to learn the producing side of things so that I can just kind of write my own music, record it, and release it. I'd say a lot of it is especially going to Belmont, like everyone around you is just super talented. So it's easy to like compare yourself and compare your work and your style to other people's music. So I feel like for me, it's just been about finding my voice and what I want to say, because it's easy to get pulled in different directions and kind of lose yourself in what you see other people doing. So it's really about finding out who you are as an artist. So what has your friend and musician, Elijah Acapito, when you moved off to school, what has he meant to you as far as helping you along the way, trying to make sure that you have the voice that you have? Yeah, he was a huge help. He was the one who kind of like heard my idea about making a CD and kind of ran with it. It still probably would have been a dream if he hadn't have, you know, come alongside me and actually, you know, offered his place to record me. And um, through that, he's just been a huge friend and supporter. I mean, we were friends before that. Um, he's just an awesome guy and Still, he's, as I've tried to produce my own stuff, he's been sending me things to help me, and he's always like, if you want me to listen to it or anything, just send it my way. So he's just a huge help. Musician, singer, songwriter down in Nashville, if somebody stood right in front of you right now, who would that person be that you'd want to meet? Oh, I'd say Carrie Underwood. She's an amazing vocalist, obviously, and uh, just the way she lives her life and the songs she sings, um, I think it'd be really cool to meet her. Thank you for everyone who's been with me this far um, and has supported me in my music. And um, I'm excited for this next semester at Belmont and the new music. I'm hoping to get out there soon. So just thank you for supporting me.